Hey, so I got a thing from Valor. Candy! What's up everybody, Reaver here, and if you've already read the title for this video, you know I got more than just candy from Valor. I got me a gecko. Now, some of you may be asking, what is a gecko? A gecko is a 3D printed blaster based off of the Lizzie from Cyberpunk 2077, made by our very own Hedrian. Uh, Adrian is also a nerfer up in the Canadian land, and he was also the one who has designed the Benelli M4 Magnus kit, along with several other things as well. Uh, but yeah, Adrian is an amazing designer. Uh, he's made a lot of amazing stuff for our hobby, and this is now one of them. So, this is a 3D printed uh, half dart only firing pistol. You can fire full darts if you just muzzle load them, but the magazines only hold half darts. Uh, you can get 3D printed magazines. These hold about 11 shots in them. Or one of the really nice features of the Gecko is this is a worker angled Talon magazine. And it works with this. So that is a really cool feature that... Not only does this have its own proprietary magazines that you can print out, but you can also get magazines from Worker, which is awesome. So this, as you saw earlier from the box, uh, came to me from Valtech. Um, so this is a Valor build. <clears throat> and this is something that... Um, I have seen that he has had in his collection, and I have been curious about getting and finally pulled the trigger and bought it off of him. So, yeah, this is uh, this is not my normal color scheme. The red's a little too dark for me, but it works still nonetheless. Um, in the back and forth talks we have talked about, <laughs> we've actually said, yeah, my next uh, my next build from him is going to have to be in my colors, which I wholeheartedly agree. But I am still really, really happy with this gecko. Now, going to show off how it works, a couple of the features of it. Then we're going to take a bit of a closer look at it over on the workbench. And I'll give you my final thoughts with some FPS readings uh, as well. So, how this works is just like every other pistol that I've reviewed so far. And that is, it is a top prime pullback prime uh, blaster. There is no return spring on this in order to finalize the prime because this also has the disconnect much like the zinc. Uh, you have to push the slide forward in order to fire it but also there is this which is just an testament, a testament to how good Valor builds his stuff. But yeah, the with the slide back, the trigger disconnects, so there is no depriming. You either have to fire off a dart, or you do have to just cover the front barrel so you don't dry fire, because, as we all know, dry firing is bad. But one thing you may notice about uh, my gecko that may not look like most other geckos you've seen, and that is because the front end prime grip has actually been redesigned by Valor. Uh, while I was talking to him, this was the design he had come up with to kind of mimic the old Alpha Trooper or the Elite Alpha Trooper, depending on what you remember using. I used them all. But, yeah, it is a full wraparound priming grip. So that means you can basically prime this six ways to Sunday. You can, you still have plenty of real estate to be able to just take it, prime it from the top like you normally would. Uh, you can just kind of wrap your whole hand around it, prime it, or one of the neat little functions, and that's because of the design down here, you can shotgun prime your pistol. And I think that is actually pretty damn cool. Now, Valor has also licensed this out to a couple of uh, the other makers out in our uh, 
wonderful community. So you will be able to find this out in the open or out in the wild. You know, that may not have come directly from Valor. So just putting that one out there. But yeah, so far I have really liked this. Oh, one thing before I forget. The magazines, as I had mentioned before, you know, it works with the Worker Angle Talent magazines, or you have these. But you will notice one thing that is missing from here that you have seen on the Zinc and on the Fire Rat and probably one or two others. But there's no magazine release on here. It's not built into the grip. It's just you push a magazine in. There is a lock that holds the magazine in so it doesn't fall out. And to take it out, you just pull. So, and, yeah, you can kind of see it in there. I'll see if I can get a better look at the workbench if I remember. But, yeah, you just push the magazine in, locks into place. Even with the slide open, it still holds. So, there's that. And it's the same thing with the worker magazines. It just, once it's in there, it stays. It's not going anywhere. And to just reload, pull it out, get another one, put it right back in. So, yeah. the There's really not much more I can go over it other than the aesthetics, which I do have to say are really nice. But again, we'll get a better look of that over on the workbench. And let's go do that now. Okay, so here we have the Gecko over on the workbench. A uh, little bit of a better look at it and also the quality of work that Valor does. Uh, print lines on this thing are really nice and tight. Uh, no flaws in the prints whatsoever that I have been able to see on any of these pieces, which is, honestly, it's always a great sign from you know a great craftsman even these even this little inside well like you can see the print lines but you can't really feel them like there's like no roughness no nothing on it um yeah this is a really really well put together pistol and i applaud the craftsmanship that went into it not just the design but the print quality that valor did uh looking over the blaster you can see a couple of markings here on the slide you can see gecko um adrian's brand marking there and on the other side as well and valor also threw his on as well and of course on the pump grip which or the slide grip whichever you want to call however you want to call it because, you know, that is his design. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, over and all, I am really, really impressed with the build quality. And also, really being able to look at it now up close, the complexity that went into this shell design to put it all together. Because you have so many different parts that just come together and mel meld and mesh together. Because... The body itself is, you can see here with the, the line, is printed in two parts. You have your grip, which has this really lovely wraparound. You have the pump. You have the slide. You have, obviously, the internal mechanism. And, yeah, this is, uh, this is just really, really well put together. Um, I really don't know what else I can say without getting, you know, too mushy over it but yeah it's it's very good even the um even the magazines are really well built like the ones that i got for the zinc like these things honest to god put those to shame like this is so nice there's like you can't feel any print lines on this thing whatsoever like it is so smooth and even putting it in you get a little bit of that 3d printed um like scratchiness but it's not bad like even if you do it like 
and if you do it slow you really don't you don't really get that you get a little hung up on the um the skinny pusher but yeah this is this is just really 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 nice okay enough gushing let's go get some fps's off these things okay so my final thoughts on the gecko i gotta say i'm really liking this thing the build quality that valor has put into this is honest to god amazing it's really well crafted adrian's design is really spot on to the game in and of itself but also lends to a very very nice comfortable pistol that i would not mind running around all day with the wraparound prime grip that valor designed for this is also amazing because it honestly adds just that little extra level of comfort to this thing and it really just it blew my mind it it's working well better than i had even thought it would now regarding the fps readings this thing clocked in pretty well um it was averaging really between 110 120 uh i did have one high at 128 and i did have a couple of low ones i'm chalking that up to probably either a bad dart or it might have hit the side because for the most part this thing was pretty consistent between the 110 and 120s um which also means this is would be a great sidearm for me to have at end war um because yeah i'm going to that and so yeah spoiler alert if i didn't announce it beforehand <laughs> Whoever watches this video gets that uh, little tidbit. But, yeah, really happy with how this all came out. The um, the designs, the, the build quality, everything really worked out really nice. And I'm very happy that I now have this in my collection. And also to be able to use as well. So... That's where I'm going to end it for this video, and as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, uh, let me know what you think of the Gecko, uh, do you have one, or if you do have one, would you consider getting this upgraded uh, priming grip for it, let me know down in the comments below, and oh, don't forget to click that little bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel, but again, Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.